Welcome to my TED Talk, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about the typewriter. How, how it works. So, um, you probably want to be like this man because it's just so crazy. Levers attach the keys trigger other levers called type hammers. The type hammer hits paper a string. Yeah. It causes the type hammer to fall back down to its original position after hitting the paper and producing the pressed letter with ink. Unbelievable. Now, Christopher Latham shows. Yeah, he exists, and he was born on February 14th, 1819. He was the first inventor along with his boys Carlos Glidden and Samuel W. Sol, or if you want to go fancy, Soleil to invent the first practical typewriter. He is considered the father of typewriter and often associated with the QWERTY. This is Christopher, Carlos Glidden, and Samuel W. Sewell. Now for the evolution of the typewriter. The first typewriter was patented by Henry Mill in 1714. Rasmus Malling Hansen invented the pincushion-like Hansen writing ball, which had 52 keys in 1865. In the pincushion writing ball, that would be right here, of course. An article titled Scientific American about John Pratt's Terotype, patented in 1868, inspired Christopher become interested in pursuing the typewriter. He actually spent the rest of his career after that improving the typewriter until he eventually died. Now for the pros. It allowed people to type faster than by hand whenever it actually got down to it and kept on improving. It was much more efficient, and companies could print stuff a lot quicker. It was easy to use, and people without hands are not completely out of luck anymore when it comes to writing. Now the cons, oh boy. It could initially only type in capital letters. It also costed more to get than just a pen and paper. It got rid of penmanship. I want to see your artistic hand motions, but, you know, you're using that typewriter... And I'm just not getting it. Hackers would get a weapon prototype. This is dangerous. You come down, you think that this man's going to a bank, but he's the evil stock photo man. And honestly, if this can happen with typewriters, what's to say that tiger parrots don't exist? Just like my Uncle Teddy always says, a key pressed is a bite of food for later. These are my amazing citations last but not least guys if you use the gfil code dakota you can get 20 percent off any of his gfil flavors including superman it's an awesome deal i know that i'm about to get one right now and now for the interview welcome to my magnificent interview where i am asked questions about of course myself so can you tell me how you came up with the idea to become the inventor of the typewriter? Well, well uh, there's so many people with ideas that I, uh, I stole. <laughs> well, it all worked out in the end, you see. But whenever it's a royalty free, you see, they didn't have all these copyrights back here in uh, 18 yonder. So I was able to get everybody's little keyboards, but they, I had to get the QWERTY. You want to know why? I wanted to make people measurable. Miserable. They hated it. They hated it. You see, I even stole this wig and this beard. It's not mine. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud of myself. I came from the United States of France. And oh, an editor I was. Until I even got a shot at the editorial page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that they really like. I died, so I am bad. Yo, guys, what is good? All right. We have to test out this typewriter, but because we are in the present time, a keyboard's gonna have to do. Now, I'm going to take off my hands and see if I can touch the keys on the keyboard with things that are not my hands. As you guys can see, there's no way I could have a hand right here because it is clearly taken off. First, my toes. Let's see. Oh yeah, it seems like I'm typing right here. Down to my ears. All right, sir, would you like to talk about the typewriter? Stop it. What did you just say? <laughs> now you're mine. <laughs> cool.
credits.